Theatre for Development is a type of community-based theatre that aims to raise awareness and inspire social changes. It is often used to address social issues such as poverty, health and human rights. TFD is no more new in the Nigerian you know, uh, academic curriculum. Uh, we hear that you know, when it started in South America, through East Africa, to Northern Nigeria, to all parts of Nigeria today, it has come to stay as part and parcel of you know, the Nigerian uh, curriculum for theatre. But again, you know, when it started, like when I was in school, it was called community theatre. And people began to see that maybe that was limiting. It should be, you know, uh, since everything about community theatre was geared towards development, it should be called development theatre or theatre for development or theatre for integrated rural development and so on and so on. But we call it TFD. And the idea is that our students should be able to uh, uh, explore the various angles to which we can use theatre to effect uh, change, especially among the local people. And so since we started here in 2016, uh, we've been going from one community to the other and our students are taking through the basic principles of uh, engendering this change. It typically involves a participatory process where the audience is engaged in creative process and encouraged to share their own stories and experiences. The aim of TFD is to empower people to take actions and create positive change in the community. Um, the essence of TFD is um, for students to go into the community, learn from the community, learn their culture, utilize the ideas from those cultural issues and they create a skit and they communicate back to the, to the community for them to learn some certain things that are hidden from them. The Theatre Arts Department, A.E. Funai, offers a course titled Theatre for Development with a course code THA212, which is done by every 200 level student of every set. Some of the activities done during this TFD are house to house interview and interactions, focus group interview, a dance and a drama performance to sensitize the people and the effects of ecosystem to their community. Well, it's, um, it's a form of uh, theatre, you know, targeted at uh, providing uh, consciousness to a selected host community to achieve uh, development. That is, that is what it's all about. From the 1st to 5th of December 2023, the 200-level Theatre Art students 2022-2023 slash set embark on their TFD project at Mwaku Community in Iku Local Government Area, Eboin State.
normally they allow the students most times to choose a specific location, sometimes within the school environment or within the host community where the school is located. And then they go to that community, meet with the elders and tell them, inform them of our coming, and tell them of our project, our intended project which we are coming for. And then we discuss with the elders and once we have an agreement with them, we give them a date and time in which we'll be coming. Normally, at least we stay for three to four days or a week, depending on how long we can stay. for development and uh, it is actually a community-based interactive kind of theater where students or facilitators can you know go to a particular or any choosing community you know live with them interact with them you know uh, get to see some of the challenges the community people are having and uh, after that you build a drama, a kind of dramatic performance around that problem, and on a long run, proper solution. TFD, as the, the acronym, you know, signifies Theatre for Development. Although some universities may have different nomenclature or different names for it, some could call it community theatre, some could call it theatre for the people, some could call it theatre among the people. But the most important thing is that it is a theatre that is taken to the people and the people own their own theatre.
Usually, we do not choose the location for students. We pre from the classes, we always prepare students to go uh, seeking for locations. All right? Because at the end of the day, we act only as guide, having provided the theoretical um, background to what they are going to do in the field. So the students go to the communities around them. And because of the fund requirement, the, the fund requirement we do not go too far outside of our immediate environment. In, a, in this case, we've been working within Ipo local government, our host community, our host local government area. So, uh, because we don't have enough fund, uh, because it's, like I said, it's purely for academic purposes. But a few of us have also made money from it, from some of these things that we did. Uh, I got a grant, you know, a few years ago, uh, when I gave a report of what we, are, we had done then for three years or so. So, but for students, uh, because of paucity of fun, we just try to, not so that we don't go too far from where our university is. And that's why. Well, um, what, what we usually do in the course is that we allow the students to uh, locate, to choose any location of their choice, the one that they can, you know, fit into, you know, so that uh, uh, they can, that can make their work easy, you know, for them. So they actually uh, choose this place. We didn't choose it for them. We, we, we always uh, tell students to go out in search of location, which they did, which they did. And uh, at the end of the day, we approve it for them because we realize that we can achieve uh, some of the uh, objectives of theater for development. Huh? But always something.
location is so apt because this is the community that owns the university, Ndufu Alike. Wapo, Ono Wapo, as the name portends, is a rallying point for the people of uh, Ndufu Alike. It is a community that, that hosts their major markets. And as a result of that, there are a lot of people that live around the market area. And this market that, um, that, uh, that sells and buys every week every four days and as a result of that people are able to to gather around this place and students were able to mobilize because they have paid their production fees for those who have paid their production fees i understand some have not paid yet but for those who have paid their production fees i'm sure they must have seen the work of what they have paid for <laughs> I can make it so. Now, one day, contract contractors. Contractors, that. If I'm really. The routine and, 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 and the problem. I will make sure that I will make pathways even in the so that no more complaints because then we don't do the drone there. We don't have to fly The essence is for them to go out to different locations outside their location, outside their comfort zone to learn their culture. So for the identification of these um this location is just for the expedience of time, and that is it. But on the terms of money, um, the department, you know, rely on students, especially the production field, to do some certain things. So, but some students pay, some are here to pay, especially your class. I think uh, the class of 140 something, just less than 70 have paid. Uh, it's quite very appalling. It's one of those things, but uh, we thank God that. We have uh, more money for me. So, yeah. <laughs> I hope that uh, in the next 10 years we would have had, you know, nothing short of 15 experiments. I will be able to build from that repertory to be able to see how we can get sponsors. We, we don't even want to wait for the next 10 years. We've already begun talks, you know, uh, begun uh, talks with uh, some agencies uh, just a few months ago. Um, while working with the Ebony State Government on some areas of food and nutrition, I encountered one NGO, and, and, and they never knew that we are into all of this. Things. So we've struck certain partnerships that we are hoping that in the years to come, we'll, we'll be able to get, uh, I mean, uh, beyond partnership, we'll get uh, sponsorship so that we can engage in, you know, bigger uh, programs for our host community and maybe possibly beyond in other local government areas in Ebony State. Now, but as time, from the session of the department, 
I think TFD has been progressing from level to level. This should be the second time we are coming to Waku, if I'm not mistaken. I think the very first set of the department, the very first set of the theater department, uh, set of the of departments came here. That was six, seven years ago, and they performed here. And this is our second time coming to this community. And being that today is the market day, we hope to get more audience. So, like I said, it's growing. Last time, seven months ago, we were at APM Babu, same Iko community, another part of Iko, and we made progress there. There, that time, we went there with a health outreach, and we were able to, you know, educate a lot of people concerning HIV and AIDS. This time around, we are coming to a different approach, you know, to find out what the community, the difficulties the communities are facing, especially at this period and the economic world. Although, we are not coming here to give them incentives. Are they coming there to educate them and you know inform them? Because most of them here might not be informed about certain things. But by the time we come here and stay with them and liars with them, know how they live, know what they are facing, we'll be able to you know coin out. next 10 years, what I uh, emphasize to happen to happen to our Theatre for Development uh, uh, course in AIFUNAI is for the uh, Eboin states and, and the environs to uh, enjoy the impact, you know, the positive impact of the, of the course, whereby uh, even the, the days we we live with the people are not uh, are not enough, you know. In my own estimation, in the situation where we stay with the host community for a week, seven days, ten days, and so on and so forth. So, by that time, we are looking forward to see a situation where we are we become stakeholder in in uh, in. Um, uh, in driving, you know, the development, you know, the development in, in, in the in any of our host uh, community, and in winning big grants, you know, so that we can use it to benefit the our host community, most especially, you know, eco and its environs and southeast in general, because TFD is not told, is not is not limited to you know uh, uh, where the university. Is situated. We can even go as far as uh, you know Anambra, you know Imo, to achieve the the objectives. Of I'm not holding brief for the head of the department, but I'm sure the head of the department will agree that the, the vision for the department for TFD, you know, in some years to come, is that communities should be able to own their own performance. The theater should live among the people. The people should be able to come up with something, not the university also always taking out performances or telling them to do this and do that. The community should be able to even bring their own people together and invite the community, invite the university community to say, oh, come and see, this is our problem. This is the problem we are trying to portray. This is the problem we are trying to bring forth. And this is the solution, possibly, that we have been able to, to, to gather. How do we move about, move this further, further? How do we now move it further and make it something that will be very discursive among politicians, among government leaders, among leaders of thought in our society, so that our community will be better and all communities will also be able to feel the dividends of democracy. And that is why Theatre for the Development is the people's 
Bolivia. We need uh, improvements, apart from the challenge of funds and all that. When we have a large number of, uh, you know, students in a class where we have about 140 something students, uh, we need funds, you know, to make them participate fully uh, in the community in which they are sent to, you know, engage with the people in the community and all that. Then, looking at the next five years, we are looking at having uh, a serious interaction with different communities. And there is this challenge that we have not been paying attention to. The idea of feedback. The idea of feedback, you know, TFD is, is not just all about interaction and, you know, doing drama presentation. After drama presentation, have we gone back to the community or communities to know if we are actually, you know, seeing changes over the issues we presented to them? So that is the one area I believe that, you know, we can be able to work on. Maybe in the next five to ten years, you know, we'll be getting feedback from the just from Well, the vision for CFD, you know, the, the CFD is a community service for lecturers moving out of the university. This is also part of what we call town and gang, the concern of town and gang for the one who is educated, you know, move out of the educated uh, environment, move out, move out from the, the university environment and go into to meet with those who are not educated. So that there's this mix where the uneducated learn from the educated and the educated also learn from the uneducated. And so in the vision for the department is to create a synergy between the university community and various community of essence where our students can also learn their culture because the theatre art itself is about culture. And we make use of a culture. It is a culture that we use, we utilize, harmonize to create entertainment, and that is the essence. So the vision is that in the next um, TFD, particularly this 100 level that will come up into 200 level, we are thinking that they will go into a location other than this equal environment and identify certain things that people really do not know because the essence of TFD is to go and get things that people really do not know so that we educate them, do you understand? So that is a vision so that in the end, lecturers can win grants because this thing that we are seeing if it is well done we can write paper out of it and in writing paper grants can be gotten for for students so that is just the thing so we have a very laudable um, uh, vision for the field because it gives the investor opportunity to visit the community and the community visit the university.
very nice. You know, this is the first time our students are coming here. So they did very well. They cooperated. They worked with the villagers. Despite this, their first challenge staying in the staying with uh, this kind of uh, communities, like some of them. So they all did well. That is my rate to them. How I was able to get and arrange the performance we are having today was where, where after getting the uh, uh, problems, we combine them together. We get different problems from different persons in the community. So we added them together. We make some points to be treated because it's a problem today. It was a problem facing the community that we, we came here to treat. So we now gather all the information they gave us, use it to make a story that we are about to The weather is very harsh, and again, issue of food. They give us food very late, around 12 or 1, and again, like. water to bait. We had to go down our every morning we do exercise. We do exercise to that place. We walk to that place to fetch water. Sometimes we even bed beside the stream just so that we can be able to pour water on our body. And it was really a stressful one though by enjoy.
Well, uh, there are many difficulties though, starting from like the accommodation and there's no water here. Like getting water is very hard. And again, there's no constant light. There's no constant light. Even feed itself. Like today, they've been our last day of uh, staying in the community. They said that we are going to eat today our, our lunch, our breakfast was given to us almost by 2 o'clock. So everything here is hard. I mosquito bites, everything. But it was fun though. Yeah, we get to interact with the community people, get to know more about ourselves, and it was fun. Difficulties were not really much. It's just the